Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluators. This is my second video about pivot tables, and in this video I'm going to walk you through a few of the components and the terminology about pivot tables. So, let's take a look at my data. This is real demographic data showing how many people were served by a nonprofit organization last year. And let's pretend you want to know how many males and how many females were served. The fastest way to summarize your demographic data is to use a pivot table. So we're going to click on the upper left hand corner, in this case it's cell A1. Go to the Insert tab, click on Pivot Table, and when you get this pop-up window, just click OK. And here is my Pivot Table. So we're just going to rename this sheet. I like to call it Pivot, just so I can keep it nice and organized. And I like to have it uh, just drag this tab or the sheet to the end. OK, so this is where people get a little bit confused. Don't despair. We're going to walk through these parts. So the top of the Pivot Table, we can see it says ID, Gender, Age, Ethnicity. Let's go back to the data sheet. ID, gender, age, ethnicity. Looks familiar, right? So each of your variables or your columns in your data now show up in the top of your pivot table. So we've got, I don't know, eight or nine variables here that we can play with. The bottom is also very, very easy. It says report filter, column labels, row labels, and values. The most common um, two boxes that you're going to be using are row labels and values. So let's try looking at how many males and how many females were served. So we're going to click on gender and just drag that down into row labels. So it starts building the table for you. It says female, male, some people left it blank, and then the total right here. We want to know how many people. So we're going to take the ID number, just drag it down into values, and values are going to show you what goes in the body of your table. So here's the body of your table here. And if you get something that looks crazy, it says 4 million females, 4 million males. That's not right because it's summing the ID numbers. It's taking these numbers, 9963, 9966, and it's just adding them. We don't want to add them up. We actually want to count, not a sum. So to fix that, just click on this little arrow right here. Go to value field settings, and instead of sum, just click on count. Not average, not max, not min, just the count. Click OK. That's a lot better. So now we know we've got 1,292 people in this data set, 579 females, 660 males, 53 people left at blank. If you want to see the valid total, so just how many people answered the question, and if you want to get rid of the blanks, you can just click on this arrow and just unclick the blanks. Just uncheck that box right there. Now you've got the valid total is 1,239 people. If you want to add it back, that's fine. Now it's back. Okay, so this is the row labels, right? We've got the gender on this side. You can also drag it. This is where the name pivot comes in because you're kind of pivoting or rotating your table to get it just the way you like it. So now we've got gender on the top. Let's take a look at report filter. Let's say you only want to look at, um, let's say the Latinos versus non-Latinos. So we're going to drag ethnicity into report filter. Okay, so it adds a little section up here. It's filtering the data for you. Right now it's looking at everybody. Let's say we just want to look at the Latinos who were served by the organization. Click OK. And now there's only 766 Latinos. And of them, we've got 348 females, 387 males, and 31 of the Latinos left their gender blank. If you want to just look at non-Latinos, you can click on non-Latinos. If you want to look at both of them again, just click on select multiple items. You can check both. Or you can just, you know, drag it out. Just get rid of the ethnicity out of the report filter. So there you have it. Those are the basic components and the basic terms associated with pivot tables. Thank you.